it's a night match it's the league cup or the carabao cup as it's called now and i as usual have my lucky shirt on today if you've ever seen the film blue moon rising you'll know that that is the lucky shirt and i've been wearing it for years it was given to me by a mate of mine called charlie who i first got to know on the football specials back in the 70s and you know, who i still travel with today uh, so i wear that to every game i won't tell you about my other little bit of uh, a lucky thing that i do before the game well i will all right then i put i put a certain colored underwear on and hopefully uh, that brings city some luck as well and you might think well this is all daft it's all stupid certainly white thinks that but other people do it as well you know you don't believe me listen to these people match day superstition has been wearing this hat for the last uh, 20 seasons we, um, started off by a family holiday to scotland very very uh, innocent we just went up to scotland uh, i saw this hat thought i'll buy something as a, as a present on the way back uh, and then the first game of the 1998 season decided to wear it as a bit of a joke to embarrass my friends who I sit, sit with uh, and basically back then we didn't win very often uh, it's the first time we got down to the third tier of English football and we won the first game against Blackpool 3-0 and from then on everyone around me said you have to wear it the next game and so the next game I wore it and I've been wearing it to every match ever since so it's the 20th season now it's the same, it's the same hat uh, it's not like Trigger's broom, it's the same hair and the same hat. Um, so yeah, so it's, that's my superstition is coming to this, always wearing this hat. What you said to the people, and, and there have been some fans who bombarded my vlog or, or social media or whatever because of people wearing these shark outfits, oh, yeah. saying that you know, you're sad and all the rest of it. What, what do you said to people like that? Well, I think it's, um, it's just a bit of fun. We, you know, we're City fans, we're, we're known for our sense of humour. We had to have it back in the, you know, the 90s and we've carried it all the way through. We have bananas, um, a shark. It's just a bit of fun. People wear, want to wear things to matches. You know, it adds, adds a bit of entertainment. Uh, and City fans, we've always had that bit of a, a, bit of a moaning, a bit of, um, a bit of fun element. Uh, and it's just a bit, everyone's different and we need to just enjoy ourselves. Programs, get your programs, match day programs. Now, programs. You're selling programs, you're a city fan, are you? Absolutely. Have you got a match day routine or a, a superstition that you have to do? I always have to wear my home shirt for every single game. What happens if you don't? We lose. <laughs> have you ever not worn it and City have lost? Once, and then never done it again. I'm very superstitious. So people blame you then, do they? Well, I didn't tell them. <laughs> I have that to bracelet. wear this, yeah. I'm going to kiss before the game starts. It's a blue moon stone. You have to kiss it before the game yeah, starts? Yeah, Come on, City. Brilliant. <laughs> so do you have any match day superstitions? No, not at all, Ian. Not why, at all, no. Why not? Because I think we passed all that now. Passed it all? We passed it all, yeah. yeah. Does she have any match day superstitions? Um, mini Mouse knickers. Really? Where, yeah, she wore them on Saturday and we won. Uh, it might be yeah, Is this did. true? Is this yes, true? She did have them on on Saturday, and that's a guess. That's not a thing you disclose at my age, is it? <laughs> so I don't. I don't think it matters at your. I don't think it matters at your age. I don't have any proper superstition, but the only one I do have, I won't bet on Man City or Man United. That's mine. Yeah. So you never put on one sock before the other, or wear a certain item of clothing. No, no, never. I just think we've had years of bad luck. I've just put an umbrella up at work today and they're all telling me I'm getting bad luck. Nah, no such thing. What will be, will be. And that's what I've learned being a City fan. The only superstition I ever had with, with City is I've never, back, I've never backed them in any competition as long as I can remember since I was a schoolboy. Never put a penny on I tend to wear the same clothes ever since I bought the Blue Moon t-shirt. I've worn this for, uh, well, ever since it came out. Must be four or five years ago now. And whenever I bought this, I always wear the two now. You do know that superstitions, and I know very well that they are completely irrational. But I'm you sure they are, it. yes. At one time, I used to always keep the same underpants and I hide them so the wife couldn't wash them. But <laughs> she cottoned on to that one. <laughs> I think any cup's worth being in, and I think you know Manchester United take it a bit seriously, don't they? So I don't see why we shouldn't win. I think you've always got to play cup ties to win them, and it'd be great if we had a clean sweep this season. A 
tell you what, it's lovely to see so many youngsters at the game tonight. Uh, there are loads of them here. I'm in the family stand actually, uh, which you can see all the uh, lots of colour up on the walls and everywhere like that. And, uh, and the kids tonight are coming in for a cheaper price. And it's a way of encouraging the next generation, so more power to City's elbow. Well, there's two families here, so there's uh, our five and another three. So it was 33 altogether for eight tickets. That's brilliant. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, really good. Are yeah. you excited to hear about tonight's game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could see a bit of this bit of tonight. tonight. You know, Sergio Aguero off the drop better than anybody else has ever drawn. <laughs> is anybody a Sergio Aguero fan? Yeah. yeah. What do you mean? What's all this about? It's not my favourite. He's playing as well, they're both playing. Yeah. That's yeah. brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, listen, enjoy the evening. You'll come back again, won't you? Yeah. Good. So it's 30 minutes of extra time and Claudio Bravo has got to be man of the match in that uh, 90 minutes after say he's made three superb saves. At least those players out there are not the same players that have been playing in the league games and won't be playing at West Brom but that's going to now test the fatigue elements. What's going to happen in extra time? Is it going to be Wolves? We'll soon see. So Yaya Toure with penalty number two to put City in the lead of his scores. Here he comes. Right foot in the middle. Yeah. Defensively, I think. I think that um, what's his name, Zinchenko. He just needed to get the ball in earlier. That, that's the only thing he's missing, I think. Other than that, he was great. He was great. But Claudio kept us in it. 
Claudio Bravo was probably man of the match. Claudio Bravo, man of the match, definitely. Did you ever think you'd say that? No, I didn't. But can't knock it. Get in there. Claudio Bravo, your man of the match. Definitely man of the match, without a doubt. Yeah. Caballero in disguise though, wasn't he with the penalty? Brilliant. He won't be going to Chelsea though. Very slab. He'll be staying here. <laughs> Get in City. I don't think Pep takes this um, tournament seriously. Uh, we should have played some, some of the better players from the start. Uh, but Wolves, all credit to Wolves. They defended absolutely magnificently. Block after block after block. But in the end, it was an unsung hero that made it. Claudio Reyna. Uh, often forgotten. Claudio Bravo. That's what you say. That's how much you've forgotten him. You've forgotten his surname, haven't you? Eh? Claudio Bravo. But have City still a sharp team? Oh, God. They will be again at the weekend. Uh, we got there in the end tonight, didn't we? Uh, that made hard work, but they pulled a good game with the Wolves. So, yeah, anyway, bring on the next round. That'll do. What do you think? Well played, City, tonight. Bring on the next round. And my dad was a Wolves supporter, so they played well, so my dad was here cheering them on, really. But oh. well played, City. Were you caught in two minds? I was tonight, yes. But in the end, uh, in the, the, end, best, team the team, best team won, but they struggled along. But Bravo was their hero tonight, definitely. And if they're going to play him, play him again. Thank you.